What's going on sixpackabs.com? It's Thomas DeLauer, your lead nutritionist and your head trainer, but also the creator of the now world famous science-based six pack intermittent fasting program, which you can see down in the description below. Today, I wanna to talk about a relatively controversial topic. Okay, I'm talking about spot reduction. Have you ever heard of spot reduction? What spot reduction is, is the theory that you can burn fat in one specific area of your body simply by working that particular area of your body out more often. Now, I'm gonna look at both sides of the equation here. I'm gonna look at what is called the law of thermodynamics, which simply tells us that if we're in a calorie deficit, we lose weight. If we're in a calorie overage, then we gain weight. But I'm also gonna look at a very interesting study that took a look at fasted individuals and how they may have been able to spot reduce, meaning lose body fat in specific areas that they trained. But in order to make some sense of all of this, I have to go through the actual science. And I have to explain something known as thermodynamics. You see, thermodynamics is simple. It's calories in versus calories out. It's what we're taught from day one. In order to lose weight, you have to burn more calories than you actually take in. In order to gain weight, you have to consume more calories than you actually burn. So it's pretty simple. But when we actually look at the law of thermodynamics, there are some things that leave a little bit on the table. So what I'm talking about specifically is the world of visceral fat. When we look at visceral fat, we're talking about belly fat specifically. You see, belly fat doesn't just respond to overall thermodynamics. You see, insulin plays a very big role in that. And if our insulin levels are constantly elevated because we're eating all the time or because we're constantly eating a very, very high glycemic carbohydrate diet, then we have a higher propensity to end up storing that body fat in our abdomen. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that we can do a bunch of crunches and burn that fat away, but it does mean that we can add more fat to that area. So this leaves a little bit to be desired. It lets us wonder, well, okay, if spot reduction isn't real, spot gain sure is. We can definitely gain fat in a given area because the body is always gonna wanna store it around the abdomen. Just take a look around at the world. You're gonna see a lot of people that are storing fat around the abdomen and you don't see people with skinny abdomens and super obese shoulders. It just doesn't happen that way. Our body has a tendency to spot gain, but it's much harder to spot reduce. Now, there are a lot of studies that take a look at this law of thermodynamics and they actually prove it. They prove that under most situations, when you're eating a normal diet, your body has a very hard time actually burning fat in a very specific area. But some of the studies talk about something known as spot toning and volumization. Now, volumization is where when you work out a given muscle, it volumizes. It allows muscle glycogen to come into that muscle and it allows it to volumize, it swells up. Well, what does this do? This actually allows the muscle to push out against the skin a little bit more, therefore making it look fuller and making it look leaner. Think about a muscle that's kind of deflated, surrounded by 10% body fat, okay? Now think of a muscle that is fully inflated, surrounded by that same 10% body fat. It's gonna stretch it a little bit more, so that same 10% body fat is spread out and it's made a little bit thinner. Therefore, you look a little bit leaner, even though your body fat percentage is actually the same. So you didn't technically spot reduce, but you spot built some muscle, which therefore made you look a little bit leaner there. So then there's the old belief that you're gonna boost your metabolism by having more muscle. This isn't necessarily just a belief. There is some solid truth to this, but the thing is, is it doesn't help you necessarily just burn fat. It helps you burn more calories in general, whether that ends up being protein calories, carbohydrate calories, or fat calories. So I don't think that that is a fair thing to look at, at least for the sake of this video. But now I wanna talk about a study that looked at fasting specifically. This study was pretty darn interesting. It was published in the American Journal of Physiology, which is a pretty darn big journal. So it has to have some merit. And what this study took a look at was 10 healthy individuals that were in a fasted state. This is where I found it extremely interesting. So these individuals that were in a fasted state, they wanted to look to see if there was spot reduction or what is called spot lipolysis, where you're actually burning fat in a very specific area. Well, what they found is that aerobic activity increased overall body lipolysis, okay? They found that yes, when you were doing some cardio or when you were doing any kind of weight training and you were moving the full body in an aerobic fashion, you burned fat all the way. Yep, totally makes sense. Simple thermodynamics, your body's core temperature was going up, you were burning some fat. But they also found that subcutaneous adipose tissue that was surrounding the muscles that were worked ultimately ended up being burned and oxidized more. So this means if they were doing a lot more crunches, they were burning a little bit more fat in their abdomen. Or if they were doing a lot more squats, they were burning a lot more fat in their quads. And they found the reason it did this is because when they were in a fasted state, their body was already more primed to be oxidizing fat, but then the contracting muscle tissue generated more heat, which improved oxidation in that area. 
That simply means the oxidation meant that the body was burning more fat because it was a little bit hotter from the contracting muscle tissue. Whereas the muscles that were not getting activated, that were relaxed, ended up not having as much subcutaneous adipose tissue in that area burned. Mind blown. Pretty amazing. So the theory that we can't spot reduce doesn't apply if you're in a fasted state seemingly. This study really blew my hair back and really showed me that, wow, this could be a way to actually allow our bodies to burn a little bit more fat where we want to burn it. Anyhow, that's all I have for today. I wanted to share the facts to give you two sides of the equation so that you can make your decision. But based on the studies that I've seen, it's looking like if you're in a fasted state, even if just for 12 or 16 hours, you can get your body to burn quite a bit more fat where you want it. I will see you in the next video.